All right, so this is Steve Houston, and I've got Angela with me today, and this is an exciting time for us. It is January 6th, 2022, Angela, and man, it's been, uh, it's been uh, quite the last few years. A lot of excitement, a lot of growth we've been through. I mean, we are 18 months into this COVID thing now. Can you imagine that? No. Almost two years now we've been doing this, and, and it's, I, I don't want to use the word new normal because I hate that concept or that, that, that terminology. But we made it through, and I really have – I was talking to Mike yesterday, and uh, we were talking about how we just came into this year with great expectation and ex- anxiety. We really believe this is the year for, um, for just the industry as a whole, for our team and our agents uh, as well. And with our new daily coaching call, the new uh, – well, it's really not new, but the virtual platform we launched in November – we have over 400 agents plugging into that call every single day for 40 minutes. I, I liken it to like a gunfire going off at 1040. And everybody is, you know, is, is marching together to build their businesses, set up their days, book their appointments at the same time. Even though we're all in different places across the country, we really are uh, opening our business for business at the same time every day and it's powerful it's 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 i've never seen anything like it there's nothing else like it in the industry and angela that coincides with our new uh podcasting to our facebook and youtube uh pages and youtube channel and facebook page so that we can archive all of our calls for 2022 so they're on they're available for replay we can get comments we can do all that kind of stuff during the, during the uh the time we can profile different agents and what we've been working on for, I don't know, since I think June or July is our fourth rendition of our agency level, ground level, day to day, case by case, before, during, and after the sale orientation. The four P's that we call um, our, uh, our, our, what, what you need to learn in that first, you know, 30 days phone script, presentation, product selection. And as Angela, it was three piece till Angela adjusted it. Now it's it's all about being persistent in those three P's, right? So we have a brand new training and orientation website that launches tomorrow, which I think you're going to love. It's comprehensive and it's a platform that we can grow on. So I want to bring Angela on here a little bit. She's seen it. She's helped develop it and uh, just have her share a few words. Angela? You know, I think one of the things that uh, we're most excited about is just having something where people can really easily go back and review, you know, the things that you might get a little rusty about and being able to quickly tell somebody, you know, an agent that says, well, I I don't understand this or I'm confused about that and just kind of have a place where we can just, they can go back and quickly access the information, you know, easily and cohesively. And we really worked, you know, it's, um, I'm always surprised sometimes uh at how easy how hard it is to keep things simple how hard it is to keep things clean you know uh i'm i'm a bit of a i'm not really a germ phobe i'm a little germ phobie uh but i am i get this from my mom i'm a tidier so i like things tidy i like things tidy i like things clean um and it man it's exhausting you know, it's so much easier to let stuff kind of turn into a mess. But the problem with the mess is then when you go to finally deal with it, it takes you, you know, a month as opposed to an extra hour or two every day. And I think that this business is a lot like that. And that's why I think that, you know, we added in that fourth P of being persistent because really what that speaks to is the ability for you to do a little bit of tidying every single day, a little bit of work in your business every single day and have the great results of that. I, most people are not like this. Um, I, you know this, I will, I will, I, I, it's almost like I have ants in my pants when I get into bed at night, if there are still like dirty dishes in the sink, or I know that there's, oh, there's just one more load of laundry I wanted to fold really quick, or, oh, there's a bunch of stuff out on on the living room floor or whatever. I just, I can't, like, I can't turn my brain off from it. Um, but the reward of that is, you know, waking up to a nice clean house. The reward of you investing an extra hour or two in your business every single day 
And I say that because there are a lot of people that are still, they are still working a part-time or a full-time job. Although based on the numbers that we're seeing, a lot of that is going away and a lot of people are really feel fearful for their jobs right now. So if you can just spend half of your lunch break or an extra hour in the morning before you go to work or be committed to, you know, if you get off work at four o'clock in the afternoon or if you get off work at five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, um, Scott talked about this this morning. You know, he used to go sit in a parking lot and make his dials. You know what? On your way home, stop at a Starbucks, get a cup of coffee, sit in your car for half hour or 45 minutes and make some dials. It's quiet. It's, you don't have to worry about anything else. You're in your own little cocoon of your car, but you've got to carve out the time. Otherwise you're going to end up at the end of the month and you're going to go, Oh my gosh, I have to make, you know, I have to make $15,000 and I've got to do it in two days. It's not realistic, but it is realistic. If you carve it out, you know, a couple of dials a day, a couple of appointments a day, and you begin to build that habit. Um, because like you and I have discovered, once you get off that habit, it's really hard to get back on. It's hard in anything. It's hard if you, uh, you know, nibbled too much in the, during the holidays, it's hard to get back on a healthy eating style. It's the same thing here. So we're, but yeah, we I are agree. very excited about that this year. Yeah, I agree. And I, you know, I, again, we, this has been a, a, a uh, I'm not sure it's a lot, 11 progress, but it's certainly been a work in progress to really, Look, we do things slightly different than most other agencies do in inside this industry, whereas we are really involved in those three P areas because we firmly believe that the three P's that we talk about, you know, being able to get some leads, book some appointments, being able to use the phone, winning on the phones is huge. It, you know, you can have all the products, product knowledge you want in the world, but if you can't get some leads, the right kind of leads, make the dials, handle the objections, book the appointments, um, you're not, it doesn't, product knowledge means nothing. That's why we have Angela and her, her department, which we're going to expand on this year to be able to, our agents can send them every single case, uh, on a, what we call a CQS sheet and they'll help with that product selection. And that allows you to get in the field. You know, you have one skill, get some leads, book some appointments. Yeah. And, and you, you can refine that skill without having to be stressed out about learning all these products and all the different underwriting terms and all the different medications. I've, as I tell Angela jokingly, and I'm not really joking, is I don't want to be a pharmacist. I don't want to know all that stuff. I'd rather write down, you know, get some, get four or five or six questions that she needs to have in front of her to evaluate that client, their medical conditions, so they can come up with, with their options that they qualify for based on their budget, medical conditions, and age. She needs four or five questions. Right, I'd rather give her that, pass it off to her, and let her uh, and her team give me the give me what that client qualifies for. Because again, my goal is to do what I do best, which is booking the appointment and connecting with that client. Because people buy from people they like, know, and trust. So you know, those three P areas: phone skills, product selection, presentation. If you don't get those things, those three things right, you're not going to succeed in this business. And that's why we have a team of people here. And we, we're, and as I said, we're going to expand on that team to be able to help you in those three areas. Why? Because if you're buying leads, you need to be, you need to be getting to the cash flow. You need to be getting profitable very quickly so you can scale your business. Because if you want to make $5,000 a week, you can do that. You can do that here. If you want to make $50,000 a month, you can do that here. And we have people doing that. And the only thing that changes is not. The, the, the knowledge, it's not those three P's, it's just stealing your activity. It's lead flow and activity. So the reason why I, I went on that tantrum is that this, this training has been the foundation of what we do to, to teach you those things, you know, in one site, um, you know, that, so you, you know, we prepare you and, and look, as I've said before, Success in your first 30 days, we'd all like to make sales in that first 30 days to cash flow our business. And that's what we, you know, we call it the pathway to success. We want to get you uh, cash flowing and getting paid very quickly. That's the idea. But I find that if, if you can succeed in getting those four P's, you may be successful in phone script, working with Angela and her team, doing a presentation, showing up virtually or face to face, you get those three things down, you built the right foundation. So then you can scale it to whatever income level you want and you'll be successful in this career. If you miss that, I see people struggling all the time, you know, so build the right foundation. 
we've done that with this orientation site and it's a platform we can scale on and uh, scale up over time to really provide some value to our agents. Angie, you got any comments on that? I just, I hope that people will jump in and um, go through the training and apply it. Go through the training and apply it. You've got to, don't get stuck training. Don't get stuck in the videos and the download. Don't get stuck there. Do it and then put it into action because that's where, you know, our most successful agents and the most successful agents that you'll, you'll hear in Equus or even in this industry are the ones that say, okay, so what do I need to do? And they take those tools and they go out and they do it and they fumble the ball and they make mistakes and you get declines. And I mean, that's how, we, that's how you and I learned. That's how, that's certainly how I learned on the underwriting side was by, you know, having somebody get declined for on one thing that I simply didn't ask a question about and then go, you know, and it was a, it was a mistake I never ever repeated because I had learned the lesson in the activity. So I think that we're most excited about what we're seeing with the agents um, within promise financial uh, most, especially because those are, that's our family. And that is the amount of agents that, you know, come really Tuesday of this last week, they said, okay, holiday's over. We're ready to go to work. And that for me has been the most inspiring and the most exciting is seeing people that weren't that, you know, just were kind of not even on the radar at all. They weren't really doing anything. And now they're making the dials and, you know, getting their toes wet. I love that. I always have. So, yeah, so we're going to be right here tomorrow night on, on Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you're going to want to be on this, this podcast or this call. You can submit questions and we'll, we'll, we'll get them answered. We're going to have a couple other guests on here as well. And that's all great. So we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow night. Um, yeah, tomorrow night, Pacific or Eastern at the same time. So, Angel, you know, as we wrap this up, Share your thoughts on. I mean, I, I got. I know what I'm looking for out of this year. Sarah, is, what are you most excited about for 20, for for this for our business, for our agents' business, and people that join us in 2022? I think what I'm most excited about is something that I listened to a, a long video that somebody did yesterday last night, and they had gone through something very personal and she had said uh in a nutshell that she had given herself a certain amount of time to kind of mourn over what had happened to her in her life and but that on sunday night that was it like that was the end of it like on sunday night she was she knew that when she woke up on monday morning there were people that were depending on her her kids were depending on her her household her, her life was really depending on her getting up and so and she talked about just having a healing having a healing and waking up and being refreshed. And that is what I am most excited about for everyone in 2022 and for us as well. 2021 was, I mean, we had a lot of exciting and wonderful things happen to us in 2021, but it was a, it was a, it was a hard work year. It was a lot of hard work. And I am looking forward to working very smart this year and really staying focused this year and the healing and the, um, I think the rejuvenation that I think we all need and we all need it, but we all, the one thing I have learned in life many times is we all created ourselves. So if you're stuck somewhere, there's only, you're keeping yourself stuck. That's my personal, uh, kick in the pants type, you know, don't keep yourself. Yeah, and the don't old keep saying says up. what we love this saying. And that is, is that until the pain of the same, becomes greater than the pain of change, nothing is ever going to change. So if you're stuck in what Angela's talking about right now, if you're stuck somewhere, you got to explode out of that area. You got you know, you got to explode out of the mud and move yourself intentionally to a different place because I strongly believe that TN timing is more important than TN talent. And this industry is going through a paradigm shift right now that I've never seen before in my 40 years in this industry with the virtual platform that we have right now that we, that we developed. We're, we're two years ahead of anybody else uh, in this industry with our virtual platform and training and daily coaching uh, calls that's available to everyone. Uh, so that, that's the, it's that, that is there for you to plug into. Um, but the fact that the fact that you can make 
I mean, we got agents that are making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. I know it's crazy numbers, and not everybody. I hate to talk about money because not everybody wants to make money like that. But and you know, and and look, I never got into personal production to make that kind of money either. Uh, I was more about you know building an agency, building a team, and, and creating that passive income stream because it created my lifestyle. But the fact that somebody can do it uh, means that you can choose your number from from zero to seventy five thousand. And, or or above, and you know, create whatever whatever lifestyle that you want to create from this industry. And you know, imagine you know we have one agent that did 1.2 million angel over 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 a three year period. Imagine what look what what would it do to your to your family, right? Generationally, if you could create if you could earn a million dollars over even a five year period of time, if you take that money, look, I always talk about. You know, this is a, the insurance business is a vehicle, right? It's like, you know, it's like a, a McDonald's franchise or a Subway franchise or a Sonic, whatever. You've chosen a vehicle to create wealth and support your family. The insurance industry is that vehicle. So if you take that vehicle and say, hey, I'm going to give it really hard work for five years. I'm going to earn, you know, a million to two million dollars. And you lived modestly, right? You can go out and buy Rolexes and, and Land Rovers and Maseratis. You, know, you certainly want to reward yourself, but if you took that same income and you invested it in some real, real estate, in some property, where could you be in five years, Angela? You know, using the money you made from the insurance industry to then invest wisely in other things, you could change the direction of your of your life and your family's life forever with the income of just being in the right place at the right time, which is right now in this industry, I believe. You know, it's funny because you hearing you talk about that, that, um, you know, how po how poised we are right now and the amount of excitement right right now that we're experiencing. And I was thinking about all the other times, not all the other times, but other times in this industry or in business where, you know, you you have a great idea or you start a great thing, a great whatever it is, a great podcast, a great training, a great whatever. And then you kind of turn around and you go, oh, wait a minute, they were somebody else was already doing that and, and they're doing it better. And it's kind of deflating. And I thought the one thing that I find most exciting, and I think that why the numbers are growing so exponentially um, on this virtual training platform and within uh, our agency and within um, our business is because we are finally in the position of being the pioneer. Like we invested the time, you know, we have the people that invested the time month after month after month to get it right, to stay sitting on, you know, on a Zoom or on a, on a recorded call or whatever it was for hours and hours and hours going, oh, this is, okay, that didn't work. Oh, that one's not working, you know, and trying, trying and failing and trying and failing until they mastered it. And that was us. Like that was, you have that here. You can't say, well, yeah, but you know, this IMO or this organization, well, they're doing it better. Uh, no, nobody's doing it better than we are right now. Nobody. Nobody's having the success that we are right now. And they can't even take it away from us because we've already beta tested it. Like we've already worked out the kinks. And that I think is so huge and puts you so far ahead that if you turn around and you go, well, I'm going to try what Susie Q over here is doing. Okay. Susie Q over here has no clue what she's doing because she's trying to piece all these little tiny things together. We have the system and we have the people that are absolutely killing it. And if you can't learn from that, and if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know. Ah. The wood's wet. If that, fire, if that doesn't fire you up, it was wet. Is that the terminology? <laughs> yeah, but that's, it's, it, that's so true. And it, and it came with, look, we were, as you said, pioneering this really slightly before COVID, you know, and, and, and then through all that, you know, which has been, you told, you told me yesterday, nearly two years. And, and we, we talked about it the, at the beginning of the podcast today. You know, so we're, we're, we're 18 to two. Why well, everybody else out there was saying, Hey, virtual doesn't work. You know, you need right. to do face to face, drive six to eight hours a week, a day, do a 10,000 bucks a week. We were carving it out in the sand, right? Like the golfers do. And, uh, and so, you know, hundreds of, you know, thousands of videos, hundreds of thousands of hours over 18 months of period of time, we figured out what works and what doesn't work. And then you take that and you release it to the public 
And so now you have rather than, you know, a couple dozen agents in there that are in the beta testing mode, trying to figure out how, how to do virtual and make it as, as effective as face to face, removing that computer from your screen. And by the way, zoom isn't it. So when you hear people say, Oh, well, we're doing, we use zoom. Then you know, they don't, they're, they're still trying to figure it out themselves because zoom doesn't work. We deal with a senior crowd and zoom is a difficult problem because it requires software downloads. We've learned all that stuff. So then you combine that with having, you know, four or 500 people every single day on a coaching call and it's growing. We expect to have a thousand people very shortly on that call where you can get your, 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 what bring, bring whatever issues you're dealing with, what's not working, what is working. And you start to digest the numbers and the activity levels that's being reported by all those agents. We have it dialed in. We know that X equals Y and that's powerful stuff because you know, you don't have to second guess it, like Angela said, right? So I'm looking at my wall here, Angela, and the thing says, an uncommon seed will always create an uncommon, an uncommon harvest. And that's a principle that talks about building a foundation, planting the seed, and that will create an uncommon harvest. That's where we're at right now. And I think, I think that's 2022. You know, I really, I just, I'm just so excited about what's ahead for not only for us and our business, but for our agents and their businesses and their lives. As we reach out and, 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 you know, I love this business because we're able to impact our agents' lives by, by serving them 24-7. And then our agents are able to turn around and, and impact their clients' lives by making sure that their families are protected, right, in the event of a death. And, that, you know, I, I make, we say making a living while making a difference. And, you know, it, it's kind of a, you know, a, a jingle or a slogan, whatever you want. But it makes, it says everything about what we do. Our goal is to better everyone's lives our agents and our clients and uh, i think we do a lot more of that with the virtual it really opens up the entire world uh from it, from a matter of a where your sales territory is because no longer are we restricted to an hour to an hour and a half circle around our homes for driving now all we need is a license we can we can call and help and protect families anywhere in the country yeah i mean it it Absolutely. I like your background, Angela. You did a really good job of your background over the holidays. I wonder who painted that wall for you. <laughs> I know it's nice, huh? It looks very nice. Yeah, we we we, we uh, say again. Did a little shopping. Going to add a couple yeah. more pieces. It's a couple more things, but yeah. Oh. It was a great uh, holiday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. And 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 is uh, is. Ex Look, if you're in a place right now where you're not coming into this business or the, in, or into this year, um, feeling like you where you are where you belong, um, feeling like you, you're lacking that training, support, good leads, I'm talking about not signing up with somebody, but I'm talking about partnering with somebody for your success. That means locking arms and saying, "Hey, we're in this thing together." It's constant communication, folks. There's no way that you can transfer knowledge without communication. Right. And so we believe that here. And that's how we run our agency, which, you know, requires a conversation, you know, and we're in, we're intimately involved in every case. And Angela's team is involved in the before and during and after our agents are able to call us from home or from virtual. We call it an in-home 911 or a concierge call so we can help answer your client's question. It's a team effort to 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 for your to, to be make sure that you're successful but also to make sure the client gets the right coverage and is protected. And then they go to work in the back end to make sure that business gets approved through underwriting and, and issued. So you get paid. It's, it is truly a partnership rather than a sign up thing. And that's how we've always operated it. And um, we're excited for this year. I know I am. It's you. Yeah. So that's it. I appreciate you being on today. It's just kind of a tester of what we're, we're going to get doing starting tomorrow night. You're going to want to be on this podcast or this call tomorrow night uh, and see the announcements we got coming out and the, the new release of our of our uh, orientation training site on the four P's. Twelve steps. I'm excited about it. A lot of good stuff in there. Really sets you up to build the foundation. For success. Angela, I appreciate you. I know you got a lot going on today. Thanks for joining me. And um, we'll talk again. Bye. Bye bye now.